Hello everyone. Welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. This week we will discuss about AFN or Anti-Grade Femoral Nail Fixation Procedure Part 2. So let's begin. Today we will discuss about anti-grade femoral nail or AFN fixation procedure. Today we will discuss about AFN nail GT2LT fixation. GT2LT that is greater trochanter to lesser trochanter fixation. This part is the entry point for the protection sleeve in order to fix an AFN nail GT2LT and it is clearly written over here. First we will have to fix the protection sleeve. Then we will pass a 4mm drill sleeve through the protection sleeve. Then we will do the drilling with the help of a 4mm drill bit. After the drilling is done, we will remove the drill sleeve. And then we will use a depth gauge in order to take the measurement of the length of the interlocking bolt required. Once the measurement is taken, we will remove the drill sleeve. And then we will fix a 4.9 mm interlocking bolt with the help of a 4.5 mm long screwdriver. Once the screw is fixed, we will also remove the protection sleeve from the jig. After this, there is another option where we make either a static lock or a dynamic lock in the nail. Again, we use the same procedure, first fixing a protection sleeve and passing it through the hole of the jig. For a dynamic lock, it passes through the dynamic hole of the jig and for a static lock, it will pass through the static hole. Then we pass a 4mm drill sleeve through the protection sleeve. and then drill with a 4mm drill bit. After the drilling, we remove the drill sleeve and the drill bit. Take the measurement with the help of a depth gauge. Once done, we will fix a 4.9 mm interlocking bolt with a 4.5 mm long handle screwdriver. And then remove the sleeve once the procedure is done. This was the GT2 LT fixation option for AFN nail. Last week, we have discussed about AFN neck fixation procedure. You can check out the video by clicking the i button. We can use either of the two options, either the neck fixation or greater trochanter to lesser trochanter fixation. If we are fixing the neck, we cannot fix the interlocking bolt for GT to LT fixation. The only thing that is common for both the fixation is the interlocking bolt that we fix in the dynamic or the static hole. Now let us discuss about the distal end of the nail. In case of the distal fixation of AFN, we can either use Stainman pin of 3.5 mm or 4 mm depending upon the surgeon's choice. 
both the lengths are provided for the set during the surgery. Or alternatively, we can use a 4mm drill bit for freehand drilling. Both the procedures are almost the same. We will show the procedure using the drill bit. So with the 4mm drill bit, we will drill a hole After drilling, we will take a depth gauge to measure the length of the interlocking bolt required to be fixed. Once the length is measured, we will fix a 4.9 mm interlocking bolt of the measured length with the help of a 4.5 mm short handled screwdriver. Again, there are two options in the distal end of AFN as well. There are two static holes and one dynamic hole. These holes actually determine the angle of the interlocking bolt. The interlocking bolt in the dynamic hole is posterior and the interlocking bolt in the two static holes are anterior. So this was the distal lock. After the fixation is done, we will use an Allen key screwdriver to remove the nail from the jig by loosening the conical bolt. The specialty of an Allen key screwdriver is you can actually use this screwdriver from different angles and it makes easier to operate. As you can see here, any angle the screwdriver can perform. At Thus the nail stays back and we remove the jig. And so the nail stays back in the body of the patient and we remove the jig. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. Thank you and see you in our next video.